school almost uh, the start of a, a new year and uh, our chats there with the chief minister on, on Fridays and uh, well mm -hmm. I've missed it but you did certainly didn't that the flooding and yes. all that going on I mean I have to, I've talked to Phil Gorman about this as well but were you surprised with with the sort of backlash against were you ready for this and enough sandbags and all this stuff? yes uh, I think the Met Office gave us uh, a good uh, indication of what the weather was going to be like uh, the government through the DOI uh, had their emergency uh, meeting um, that coordinated a lot of what was going on and uh, sandbags obviously were, were one of the, the areas that they were involved in. The notifications did go out to local authorities and uh, businesses around the island. Uh, so I think we were probably about as prepared as we, we should have been. There were glitches, there's no doubt about that. In your uh, area, Ramsey, I believe. Ramsey, I don't think there were enough uh, sandbags and the dis distribution of the sandbags that were there wasn't perhaps as as balanced as it, it might have done. And we equally had some local problems where uh, sandbags were actually stolen from uh, other businesses, which didn't help the situation very much. Um, but it was a wholly exceptional uh, storm that, that we had. Uh, we've seen the impact right across the United Kingdom. Uh, so it's inevitable the Isle of Man was going to be hit as well. Um, but I think overall, the island coped uh, better than might otherwise have been the case. And I would like to send my thanks again to all the, the staff of government, the emergency service, the DOI and everything, uh, as well as the community who rallied round and provided uh, the protection for our people. The other hot potato seems to be parking. Uh, this pound on Sundays. Mm -hmm. This is almost like a repeat of what happened down at the airport. Yes. Um, are you not yet surprised that the small things are the things that seem to cause you, in a sense, more firefighting? Yeah. Uh, it, it, and it, it is a small thing. Uh, I'm uh, disappointed in some respects. It's understandable that uh, nobody likes to pay more charges for whatever the service uh, might be, but people still have not understood the difficulty that the Alman government is in uh, financially, mm -hmm. and we have to look at every opportunity to raise fresh money. The uh, outcry at the uh, airport in particular was wholly disproportionate to what was being proposed. Sensible compromise has been reached, and I've heard no comments about it since. We have obviously to recognise that the retail industry on the island is struggling and will continue to struggle for some time. It has competition from the internet, which uh, is, is growing, and we've seen it particularly over the Christmas period. Um, but we're talking about a pound for the first hour of parking. It's not an onerous sum. And I find it astonishing to think that if people are being asked to pay a pound for charging in, uh, for parking in these, these two car parks, that that is actually going to put them off even coming into shop in the first place. I think we just need to step back and put this in perspective. Government needs the money. We are in a difficult position. We have to make the services that we provide pay f for themselves as far as possible. And this is just a small contribution. Where's it going to end, though? Because at the minute, there's still free parking on the promenade with a disc. Yeah. You're going to go after them eventually, aren't you? Well, we don't know what the future is going to bring. We uh, are, have no plans to do that at the moment. Um, but uh, clearly, unless we can get the government uh, finances back into shape again, everything is going to be up for consideration. Um, I'm not going to say whether we will even consider it at the point, at some point. But, you know, we, people have got to understand we are on very, very straightened times and we have to make difficult decisions on that basis. And most towns probably do pay charge for parking, I suppose, almost everywhere. So do we equate with that on the prices we're paying already or not? I mean, how much do we, do we pay for parking compared with the UK? Uh, I th a lot less than they would pay in the UK, certainly. Uh, you know, car parks are quite expensive I I in the UK, so uh, the comparison there is, is uh, it's like chalk and cheese, I think, frankly. Uh, and there's no doubt at all that government will need to develop over the next few years more c another car park, at least in Douglas, uh, to enable the business community to expand. So they come at a price. Uh, I think one parking space <coughs> these days is something like £20,000 per parking space to, to develop. So that they're not cheap and they have to be paid for. Of course, people say you're getting your own free one in your job, so you're not really oh, in the yes, real world. That's, that's nonsense. But really. you do get a free space. Yes. <laughs> We're talk we've got to be grown up about this. We government has lost a third of its income. We've lost over £200 million a year in income. We've got to find every way possible to uh, s re replace that income if we're going to protect frontline services. Um, we are, are the, the changes which the DOI are proposing about charging for car parks are a pinprick in, in that. But we have got to move forward and recognise that, that nothing will remain the same. Everything is under scrutiny from now on. So back to my point about the 
car parking is cheap then, you're saying, do you see the inevitability of the prices rising across the board in yeah. Douglas and wherever else, but hitting the retail area, which is under a lot of pressure already? It is under a lot of pressure, but the Douglas Corporation car parks, I understand, are still free. Uh, they won't be, be charging or, or aren't planning to charge at, at the moment. There's plenty of free parking on the streets on, on top of that. Uh, it is a very small price to ask uh, for parking in government car parks, which have to be maintained, and we have to develop new ones in the not-too-distant future. So, finally, did you handle this correctly? I mean, because it has become quite a big issue. It, this is all about PR these days, isn't it, how you handle yes, these things? Yes, maybe it hasn't. I don't know. Um, it's the Department of Infrastructure has been dealing with, with, with this. It is, uh, once again, another example of a mountain out of a molehill um, every change, or I think without exception, that government has brought in over the last two years, there's been an outcry against. It doesn't matter whether it's a big increase or a little increase. We have to accept, and I'm sorry to repeat myself, that the world has changed, and the Isle of Man is very much part of that change, and we have to accept it. So there's, it's pointless for people to make out these petitions online? You're not going to listen to them at all? It's up to the DOI. <laughs>